35 new recruits are being put through their paces at Columbus Division of Fire, and 40% of those recruits are women and people of color. We, we have uh, 35 new recruits starting uh, today, and uh, out of that, 14 are uh, minorities. Uh, we have two that's coming from the cadet program that um, Mayor Gunther and Director Pettis have supported and, and allowed us to uh, have uh, two uh, cadet classes. These cadets took the fire test uh, two years ago and their numbers just come up so they'll be leaving the cadet program and moving in to become a recruit firefighter. Yeah. Our recruiting office is getting out into the community that we serve and engaging uh, daily with the applicants that are applying and keeping them interested in, in the job. Starting pay for a firefighter is around $50,000 um, and then that's for three years part of the journeyman program and then it goes up in increments over the next three years. People that are interested in possibly being a recruit firefighter is we have them text 474747 with the word down in the contact saying join CFD all one word. We still hold the same standards as before, but they're or state mandated. So whatever the state's uh, mandates us to, to do, we have to do that. For example, throwing a ground ladder. We still have to throw a ground ladder. You know, 28 years ago I had to throw one, so we're, they're still doing the same things. We're just off, offering different ways to how you can do that. So through the training process, we just have different ways to accomplish this, the same goal that, uh, that I may do it one way, you might do it another way, but there's other, other ways to accomplish that state certification goal, and we allow them to use whatever it is to accomplish those state requirements. New recruits undergo seven months of academy training, followed by a two-year apprenticeship program. Local for you in Columbus, this is Cynthia Rossi.